He's been doing this for 15 years now. The marathon phone-in session has become one of Vladimir Putin's annual showpieces. It's billed as a chance for the president to hear real people, real problems. I'm a primary school teacher. I've been working for one year already and I haven't been paid more than $270 a month. I haven't received a special bonus stipulated for all young specialists. I love working with children, but my salary leaves me no choice. How can I survive with so little money? Question after question had Putin promising he'd look into it. Bad roads, broken promises, poor living conditions. This is usually viewed as a tightly managed event, presenting Putin as the man with the solutions to the country's problems. And that's something that a good many Russians appreciate. But this year, questions texted in and flashed on screen supposedly in real time suggested some people were finding a way to voice their frustrations. Goodbye, Vladimir Vladimirovich, said this one. Putin, do you really think people buy this circus with its scripted questions? Asked another. When will you resign? Was a third. Uh, there is a sense of fatigue. Um, uh, I think both with uh, Putin among a certain portion of the population, particularly younger people who've never known any other leadership in the country, um, and, uh, um, uh, and, 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 and within in, in certain political circles in Moscow and, and St. Petersburg. Many were waiting to see what the president had to say about Russia's new protest movement and its leader, presidential hopeful Alexei Navalny. The opposition are exploiting the problems. They should stop exploiting and offer solutions. In the main, Putin's phone-in covers domestic concerns. But he did, tongue presumably in cheek, offer sanctuary to former FBI boss James Comey if politically persecuted in the US. That means he is not the leader of the security services, but a human rights defender. And if he faces pressure, then we are happy to offer him political asylum too. The last question, whether Putin will seek re-election in 2018, was left hanging. If there's another phone in next year, who will it be with, he was asked. No answer from the president. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Moscow.